Hi Libra, welcome to your reading. This is going to be for mid-December 2023. It is for Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If this one doesn't resonate, definitely check out those other placements. It is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone who watches. So we're going to get into your recent past, your current energy, the near future, and then we're going to clarify and get some cards from the universe for you. If you are returning, welcome back. Thank you guys for all of your support. If you're new, welcome. I do hope if you enjoy the messages, you'll consider subscribing. And if you'd like a personal reading, that information is in the description box below or in the about section of my channel. All right, so let's take a look at what's going on for you. So your overall energy Interesting, because that's your card. We have justice in reverse. So right now, things could feel like they're a little bit out of balance. Let's get a feel for what's going on um, and what has just recently happened and see why that's coming up. So we, interesting. Okay, so the recent past, this is funny because it's almost like a contradiction. It, things are turning in your favor. So if you've been dealing with circumstances in which Things feel out of balance. You don't feel like things are fair. The recent past, it could be just within the last couple of days, you may have gotten some news that things are shifting and changing or all of a sudden, even though you feel a little out of whack, something pops in or did pop in and it's starting to look a little bit brighter. It may not have balanced everything out just yet, but it is definitely in, in the process. So under that, we have the Four of Wands. So this could have to do with your home life, um, even a marriage. For some of you, what, whoever this is for you, if this is a person that you've been dealing with and you haven't been wanting to communicate or that person seems very shut off or disconnected, if this is in your home situation, it doesn't matter if it's a partner or somebody you're living with, things are going to start getting better. Um, I think you're going to see some significant change happening. And it, it could just be around family in general. There could have been some discord. Holidays always bring things like that up. Um, just know that things are eventually going to get to a much better place. So let's keep going and see what the current energy is looking like. All right. So the Ten of Swords. Some part of you may have a hard time letting go of feeling betrayed. And this could be with your family or whoever this is that pops up in your head when I'm talking about this. So a part of you may feel very vulnerable to these people or to a person, especially if they are someone within your direct community family. Um, so I don't think it's that you're incapable of moving forward. I think a part of you just, you know not to forget what happens and it's important with the ten of swords in reverse i would normally say like it, there's a feeling of the betrayal's not over some of you may recognize that no matter what there's always going to kind of be an imbalance there and it's accepting that that's the hard part i do feel a sense of vulnerability around this though so you may let things slide with some people but you never forget what someone has done so just know if you had felt like no matter what you did, things just didn't seem to work out, that things are going to start actually working in your favor. Trust the process. Under the seven of wands, we then have the, okay, that makes perfect sense. So you go from the seven to the eight. There's going to be a lot of communication, which is a good thing. Um, I, I want to say you're going to be opening up. Maybe you're going to, at this point, be speaking on what it is that's been bothering you. And weirdly, I just heard, leave well enough alone. So you may be open to communication, but you may still just be a little bit cautious. Let's keep going. What's the near future? So the full is in reverse. All right. So not wanting to take any real risks or challenges at this time. And I don't think that's a bad thing. Sometimes the energy supports risks and taking chances. Other times it's best to just kind of step back and allow things to unfold with the Page of Swords in reverse, I'd be cautious as to um, believing everything you see, read, and hear. Because there's, it feels like there's a whole lot of false information going around. And before you jump at something or you like somebody says something to you and you feel like you have to react, I'd be cautious and not react. But the, the Page of Swords to me is just saying kind of 
don't believe everything you hear, like I said, you see or is presented to you. Under that, we have judgment. So something is still up for, for grabs. What do I mean by that? There hasn't been a, a complete decision made. So if you're still pondering what it is that you want to do, and there's so many varieties of things, it's not very specific because I feel like this needs to hit everybody at a different place in their life right now. It feels like nothing is set in stone. What I do feel is necessary is not necessarily reacting, but a little bit of communication would help. And then you base your decis decision on how you feel, either in somebody else's reaction or how they communicate with you, how this looks like it's gonna move forward. Either way, this is gonna work out in your favor. This is like destined, not just, I heard the word prosperity. Something is meant for you and it's going to work out. And it may be that somebody else is jealous. Maybe somebody in your family has some type of either underlying resentment or has betrayed you before and that throws you off. But it's going to work itself out. And you're going to see the reason that this had to happen. There was some significant lesson that had to be learned. But don't react so quickly, especially with things. If it hasn't come from the horse's mouth. Just make, make sure that you confirm what you're hear, hearing, seeing, or being told. It's really specific. I keep repeating that because it's going to be important for you to make this decision based on how you feel um, and your intuition versus something else that doesn't seem so clear. Let's see what your challenge is. So we have the Hierophant. So the challenge could be that having faith that things are going to change. If your circumstances have seemed the same, especially within relationships in your life, and you have a hard time with the idea that they could significantly shift, I'd say hold tight because let's get a clarification. I think the hope is there. Definitely whatever's going to be best for you is going to happen. And sometimes that's difficult because, yes, it hurts, especially when we have to turn our back on people that we love. Because just if they're family, it's still betrayal. It doesn't matter. So if you've had somebody do you wrong and it's hard because of that connection, I think a part of you is just asking for the ability to move past it or to make the best decision for yourself instead of for the good of everybody else. This feels very personal. Like this is a decision I have to make. All right. So with justice in reverse, we have the eight of swords. So if you, again, had been feeling stuck, you're coming out of that place, even if the balance is not completely restored. And then the six of wands. So this is going to be successful no matter what. There is going to be a good outcome. Things are going to resolve themselves. And then we have the Seven of Swords. You know, this doesn't always have to be a bad card. It's not always that somebody's lied and cheated or stolen or all of those things that typically this can represent. It can also be being resourceful on your part and leaving behind the things that aren't worth battling and taking the other five swords with you and saying, well, I've conquered this. And if I can't conquer this particular situation, I've... I know that I need to keep moving forward because I will be successful in these other areas, these other avenues. So if you're having to release a difficult relationship, it doesn't mean the rest of them, if you have a larger family or there are several people around that this could cause conflict with, you're going to find resolution so that it works for you. Now, under that, we have the three of swords. Okay, so there is a lot of healing from painful situations or betrayals that's happening. Now, with the Wheel of Fortune and the Four of Wands in reverse, we have the Eight of Cups. You know, it's not necessarily completely walking away. Um, some of you may have walked away from either a living situation, a partnership, um, a family member, or at least emotionally disconnected so that you, because you are vulnerable. And it could have been very painful. So wherever you are in this matter, because I can read it both ways, just know that this is meant to happen. So the Four of Wands in reverse with the Four of Cups in reverse, we have the King of Wands. I think you want to be very diplomatic with how you move. 
I know the King of Wands can be feisty in this particular deck in the upright. I'd say sometimes you're dealing with narcissistic people. I just think you want to keep yourself calm. You don't necessarily want to overreact. You want to step back before you react. Let's see the Ten of Wands, or I'm sorry, the Ten of Swords in reverse with the Seven of, there it is again. So you're getting the Ten of Swords in reverse. So there is no ignoring the fact that something has happened. You just can't. You can't ignore it. And will it continue? Probably in the future. So it's about you deciding to not necessarily sever ties completely, but making a decision so that you don't allow this to affect you the way that it has for so long. Now, let's keep going. We have the Five of Cups. Yeah, you're emotionally disconnecting from this. I don't think you're going to allow it to create the kind of sadness and despair that it may have. And the Eight of Wands is kind of an, a, how do I want to put this? It's like you're fired up in moving beyond, I just heard ridiculousness. I'm not saying that it's not a serious situation, but it's almost like you're more focused on getting through something than you are on focusing on the things that have already happened. So let's keep going. The full and the Page of Swords. Like I said before, it's not going to make you happy if you react really quickly or you respond to things. If it's not a fulfilling situation, then you need to pull back, clearly. Let's see the Page of Swords with Judgment and the Two of Swords. So you are eventually going to make a very clear decision. I don't think you know exactly what that is right away. But at some point, you're going to have a moment of clarity and that's it. And you're going to make a decision. So the Hierophant, your challenge, we then have the Five of Pentacles, which makes sense because you don't necessarily want to abandon someone. See, that's the thing. You have a good heart and you will do good by people who do good with you. And sometimes you forgive people a little too much and have for too long. So it may still be hard to leave something behind, but I think you're going to have faith that you're making the right decision, even if it's challenging right now. All right, so let's get some advice. We've got justice in reverse over here. I kind of want to understand, like, what's the advice around this? How do we regain balance? Queen of Wands, do you. Focus on what makes you fired up and not give something else energy. This is, she's very in control. And she's just spicy and she wants to continue to push forward and doesn't really want to allow things in the surrounding circumstances to push her back. It's confidence. Your confidence is what's going to continue to help you find balance. So just know it's going to be restored if you've been feeling a little bit off. Six of Swords in reverse, not focusing necessarily on the outcome of the situation or trying to force things to get to a better place. It's just the doing you, do you energy. And then we have the two of pentacles because this is not a, for you, I feel like you're just not going to be going back and forth. It's going to be much more concise. So I think it, the confidence to do what you know needs to be done and not going back and forth or pondering is the best way to do it. And then we have the knight of pentacles, slow and steady. So staying grounded and again, focusing on you and your passions and the things and your confidence and restoring yourself, especially if you felt like you've been betrayed in, in lots of different ways. Um, the Knight of Pentacles, he's not going to sit around and wait for others. He's just going to take one step at a time. And maybe you feel like that's what you need to do at this point. It's just one really steady step at a time. That's what's going to help you restore your balance. All right, let's see what the advice is strength. Stay as strong and have the courage to take the steps that you need to take. And then the Knight of Wands in reverse. Interesting. Okay. The Knight of Wands in reverse. It's almost like not taking hasty action. Again, I kind of feel connected to the fool with this energy. Like it's not worth putting the energy into a situation that you, you know doesn't work for you. Let's keep going. And then the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Your decisions can sometimes throw other people off. And that's okay. What's important is that you find your peace inside, your stability. 
it, it, again, it's going to take a lot of strength to find yourself back in that place, but you're going to do it. And then we have the Four of Cups in reverse. See, she's pondering a lot. This in reverse is not going back and forth about your emotions, making very concise decisions. I have a little bug around me, sorry. I don't know where they're coming from. So this isn't about sitting around and waiting for somebody else to make a decision. This is about you making it for yourself and having the confidence to do so and, and just literally taking one step at a time. All right, let's get the Lover's Oracle. Let's see. It, I don't feel a lot of romantic energy here, but if you are dealing with a romantic partner or there's a situation there, let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims. It simply allows and gives. So if that's the case for some of you, if this is in a relationship um, and there's been some challenges, that could be very helpful. Just give a little bit of space until things work themselves out. And then freedom. There is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. Wait, don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. Like I said, I don't feel like you want to take any, make any hasty decisions or take any, um, God, I'm at a loss for words. It's like you don't want to make rash decisions. So give it a little bit of time. I want to pull one more. A message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. So if you're thinking about somebody right now and you're questioning how they feel in an intimate relationship, partnership. This is how I feel your person feels. And if you felt betrayed by them in any way and you need to get clear, there will be communication because things are definitely working out. You're going to, there's going to be balance found. All right. So we're going to get a couple of cards ooh, from the wisdom of the Oracle. Okay. So the to the sea is definitely about going with the flow the best that you can. You could be born on the seventh of the month. And then we have peace. And I think that's what you always want, is just to find peace the best way you know how. Um, in standing up for yourself, yes. But at the same time, trying to keep things as calm as possible. So I do think peace is coming. You could be 23, born on the 23rd, the 2nd, the 3rd, or the 5th. And then we have milk and honey. This card always brings up nurturing thyself. So if you need to take a little bit of time and you need to distance yourself in order to really get clear about the next steps for your, for you, then take this time. Go do something that really makes you happy. So you could be 51, born on the 5th, the 1st, or the 6th, and then buy the book. So for some of you, this could be that you clearly take steps that are very important to you, meaning it's structure. So some of you may think in a very critical way, like you'd like to do things by the book. I think this is really about kind of writing your own book about how you want your life to look and how that may look different than what it was before. So this could be you rewriting a story, uh, your story. Uh, you could be born on the 11th, the 1st, or the 2nd of the month. All right, guys, those were your messages. That was kind of quick and short, but I hope that made sense for you because it feels like you're really going to be finding balance and you're going to get out of whatever had been either holding you back or creating this sense of instability. You're going to find your way. That wheel of fortune is there because things are turning in your favor. So just hold tight as this unfolds. All right, my loves, I appreciate you. Thank you again. If you'd like a personal reading, as I mentioned before, the info's in the description box below or the about section of my channel. Um, I hope you guys have a happy holiday. If I don't actually get a video out before then, take good care and I will see you in the next one.